This is a short video showcasing how to install and use 3D models for the game Sonic Robo Blast 2 on a Mac operating system. So the first thing you need obviously are the models that you want to use. You can usually find some packs on the Sonic Robo Blast 2 message board. Uh, the most popular one is Jack Jim's 3D model, so that's the one I'm going to use for this tutorial. Uh, all you have to do is scroll down until you find the download now header, and then you can click that link to get the model pack. Uh, so that will download, and that should be, yep, there we go, downloading. And once that's finished, which it will very soon, there it is, it's finished, you can click on the zip file, and that will extract the folders and stuff that are inside it. So now you can see we have a models folder and a models.dat file that we found inside the download. Uh, we can close the browser window now, we don't, need that. we don't need that anymore. What you want to do with this folder and this file is you want to drag it into your SRB2 folder. Uh, if you don't know where that folder is, you can open up a new finder window, file, new finder window, and then go to your SRB2 folder, which is located in your username folder, the home folder with the home symbol on it. Uh, and then there should be a folder inside that with the SRB2 name. Uh, if you can't find that, what you can also do is you can go to go, and then go to folder, and then type tilde, which is the little squiggly thing at the top left of your keyboard, and then slash SRB2, and then press enter. And that will take you to the same folder. So now what you need to do is you need to drag the models folder into your SRB2 folder, as well as models.dat into your SRB2 folder. And now you're basically all set up. Um, but you'll notice if you launch the game right now, the models will not load. Uh, and that is because the game by default launches in the software renderer, which cannot display models currently. So what you need to do is you need to load the game in the OpenGL renderer. And the way that you do that is you go to Applications, uh, and then Utilities, and then there should be an application in Utilities called Terminal. So open up Terminal. Uh, it should look something like this. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. And then what you need to do is you need to type Open, and then Space, and then go back to Applications, folder and find Sonic Robo Blast 2, which should be here. Uh, if you didn't install Sonic Robo Blast 2 to your Applications folder, um, find wherever you installed it to. But you should have installed it to your Applications folder. Uh, and then drag that into the terminal window, and that will copy the file path into the terminal window. And then what you need to do is you need to type uh, hyphen hyphen args, which is A-R-G-S, then space hyphen opengl, which is uh, O-P-E-N-G-L and then press enter. And that will launch the game with the OpenGL renderer. So now you can go into the game, load a new save, whatever you want to do, and you should see the models. If you don't want to see the models, uh, or you don't see them, you can use a console command to toggle them. The command is gr underscore models. So then you can type on or off or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to type off to show them turning off, and then type in the same thing with on to turn them back on. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, if you're using Sonic Robo Blast 2 version 2.2.0, the models are kind of buggy. Um, if you're on a Mac and you can't find uh, a newer version of Sonic Robo Blast 2, uh, you should join our Discord server and ping me. I'm at LACH hashtag 94444. Sorry, 9444. <laughs> There's only four digits in the tag. Um, yeah, and I'll add you to this Mac users channel where we test the new builds out. Uh, and then once those are done, we'll make them public. But for now, they are not public. We are still testing them. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your models.